Hello again, and welcome to another video of computer repair. I have a Dell desktop computer. It has a bad power supply. And I promised in a previous video that we would go over changing a power supply. So here we go. Now, how do I know the power supply is bad? Guy brought it to me, told me there was some kind of power outage at home, smelled something funny. I tested it with the tester, and I mentioned this before. This tester right here can be obtained for about $15. Tested it, got nothing. Now, if I suspected the power supply was bad, didn't want to go out and buy one of these things, I could simply go to the store, buy a power supply that's new, put it in. If it still doesn't work, then I know it is not the power supply. So, if you get a new power supply, you find out after you hook it up that your computer still isn't working, then you know it's not the power supply. You take it, you return it, you get your money back. Most people live within a few miles of a Best Buy or some sort of store that would sell these things. Now, this is an older Dell. You can see I have to open up the case. Here is a tab on top of this thing, and there's also one on the bottom. To open this thing, all you really do is lay it on its side, and I'm going to actually put it on its other side so the motherboard is facing up. Push the two tabs in, and then the case opens like this. I'm going to turn it this way so we can see what is inside of here. I'm going to make sure that you can see it. We can see right there is the power supply, okay, wires leading out of it, plugging into your two CD-ROM drives, hard drive, and then you can't really see it, but in the board. So I'm going to focus the camera on the board. So we can get a better look at what we need to do. Okay, so... Unplug hard drive, unplug the CD-ROM drives, they come out. Now notice that there is two different types of plugs on this thing. You have the old style Mobex connectors, and you also have the serial ATA newer style connectors. So make sure you get a power supply that has the appropriate connectors. All the newer stuff is serial ATA, but if you have an older machine, there's a possibility of it having both, or maybe just Molex. You have to make sure the new power supply you buy has the appropriate connectors. So before you run out and buy it, open the computer, take a look. There's only two types of power connectors, just these two. One of them is always black. The other one is usually kind of white or cream color. Easy to tell them apart. So now that we have hard drive and the CD-ROM DVD drives unplugged, we unplug the main connector from the board. Here it is right here. Let me see it. So you see it, we push that little tab in carefully, try not to deflect the motherboard too much, unplug it. Now that's done. There's one more connector. It's that that other 12 volt power connector. And that guy is actually plugged in over here. It's kind of hidden from view. So I'm gonna lift that fan shroud up and there it is, and maybe you guys can see that right down there. Anyway, unplug that, move the wires out of the way, and the power supply is disconnected. Now, there are four screws in the back holding this thing in. So, you need a screwdriver, usually it's four screws. This one has two, usually it's four. Whether it's two or four, turning the screw is the same. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to remove these screws in the back. And again, these are on the back outside of the computer where everything plugs into. Pretty obvious where they're at, just remove the screws whether there's two or four of them, usually it is four. Okay, let's 
screws are gone. And this has a little green tab on this particular Dell right there. that you have to push down in order to remove the power supply. Most computers don't have this, but this one does, so I'm gonna push it in and gently remove the old power supply, which is essentially worthless. I'm gonna throw it away, and I'm gonna bring in my new one. New power supply is going to come with a new power cord usually. Okay. So you'll have a spare power cord on hand and nothing else. Box out. Unwrap it. Take it out of the plastic bag. And before I start playing with the wires or connectors, I'm going to set it in. Goes in the same darn spot the old one did. Okay, make sure you're not pinching any other wires. And just kind of set it in there. Work with me here, work with me. And it will snap right in. Once it snaps in, then it's just a matter of plugging these connectors back in to their respective spots where they were before. You got the main connector for the board. Now, sometimes you'll get one that's like this, okay, because some boards are missing, or not missing, but they have a smaller connector which is missing four holes. Usually it'll come with an adapter, it'll come with a split main connector which can accommodate either the larger size power connector or the smaller size. So keep that in mind, but you have your Molex connector, your serial ATA connector, and then your other 12 volt connector. Plug it back in, hook everything back up, and it should come on for you. 